Do you feel the pressure? I'm Dhruv and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make an origami tessellation. So I don't actually remember the name of this tessellation but I think it's clover folding or something like that. Uh, so here how it looks in the front and from the back as well. As you can see I made this tessellation from quite thick paper as in the showcase model but I'm will be using a quite thin paper for the tutorial. And in the end of this video I will be showcasing another of my model which is one of the biggest origami model that I have ever made. And I will be showcasing two more models this time. So stay tuned. So for this model you will going to require a square sheet of paper as you can see and divide it into an 8 by 8 grid. So just divide it and then Here I have divided the paper into an 8 by 8 grid. So now there is no as such fold that you have to make with the reference. So there is a specific crease pattern that you have to follow while making this. So, so what you have to do is just copy this uh, copy this crease pattern on your paper. And just make the pieces uh, as such. So one piece is going to be from this point up to this point. So let me get a scale and show it to you. So it will be right from about here. And uh, similarly from this point to this point, uh, let, me, let me show it to you. Now uh, as you must have understood or may have understood that all the pieces will be around this middle 4x4 four four square. As this and will be like this, then this and then this. So you can see it accordingly. I will be just making it. CP of this model basic CP and you can just copy it down see and uh, from the basic reference points will be the four tips of the middle square And now what we have to do, we have to join these two points, these two points, these two points and these two points. So there will be some more pieces here. Join them. So here is the basic crease pattern of our model. So you have to make these creases both valley and mountain. Uh, so I will be just doing both. First I will be making the single side crease then I will be reversing it so that 
it becomes quite easier to fold the model. So just fold all these creases. Here, now our basic crease pattern is ready. Now what we have to do is fold all these creases together. But what we see now is that the creases are mixed, so we may get confused. So the basic creases that will be formed while we collapse the model will be the first two will be this one and this one from all the four sides and when we collapse this model other two creases that will arise will be somewhere around these in this more 2x2 two two rectangle um, yeah it will be probably this and this these two will be valley folds from this point to this point and this point to this point and these two creases will be a mountain fold uh, so all these creases will be on all the four sides so now let's just collapse the model so just look at it clearly what we have to do is highlight the creases this will be a mountain fold joining this like this and right here similarly this will be a mountain fold now as I told you that these two creases will be a valley fold so this point will sink in the model will turn up like this from each side let me show it to you do the same thing on all the three sides and just do it just keep connecting the creases and it will just shape into the model don't worry about in here and we will just take care of it later just first make the boundary creases so here I have made highlighted the basic boundary creases now what we have to do we have to highlight the inner valley fold creases so these four you can highlight them while collapsing the model as well now here you may have seen that this part this small square resembles a water bomb base yeah it actually resembles so just make a clear and precise water bomb base in just this 4 by 4 square make sure that no extra part of the paper squashes up or down see here a paper is just pulling up so just push it in now you must have understood the basic crease pattern so just put the model and highlight the water bomb base on all the four sides the paper might get tricky to handle if you're using a thin paper like me but if you use a paper as used in this case it's a quite easy job I prefer using a thick paper for this model. So here I just pinch all the sides together like this. Now push 
these four sides in just take it like this and push it in now here this and this part will squeeze in just like this so just put and squeeze it in on all the four sides you won't be able to do it on all, all these four sides at once but do it just making a pair now just turn them on lower without before doing this and just have a quick look that we have to make a square here a very defined square here which will be this thing here so just make sure that it is nice and precise on all the four sides you may use your finger from behind to just make it size here now just turn them all over and put everything in make sure that all the pieces get set on the places only like this now before opening these flaps turn the model over and make sure that the square is nice and good see it's good now just turn the model over and flatten it by opening these flaps on the basis of creases only Tighten all the pieces so that the model looks clean. Okay, now our basic model is ready. Now, what we have to do is turn the model over right like this. And fold all these four flaps up to the center point like this. Now what we have to do is, um, as you can see that there is little flap coming here and here. So just put your thumb in there, or you can use your finger as well. And pull this whole thing back so that this whole thing that we just folded up squashes in on the basis of the pieces that we just made make sure that you get a nice square here yeah it's pretty nice here so now we need to fold it back in just like a water bomb base uh, as you know that while making a water bomb base we just take uh, for example this is a square sheet of paper and we have made the four pieces and the diagonals so just we just take these two uh, what can you say crease and just do it like this and put it like this so do the same thing here take these two pieces let me zoom in a bit. Yeah. Take these two pieces and put it in. The model will automatically flatten. Now let me show it to you one more time. It's like this. Put your finger inside the two flaps. But take this model and fold these two flaps up. Sometimes the model may get a quite squeezy, but you just 
exfoliate a bit not too much otherwise the model might tear a bit and it will be fine yeah just like this now just take these now just take these two pieces and put it in just like a water bomb base now do the same thing on these two flaps Take and flatten the model. Here. Now almost half. No, actually, seventy-five percent of our model is ready. Now what we have to do? It's the most tricky part of this model. So what we have to do is. Take one of the flap. Just have a close look. It's the most tricky part of this model. Just open one of the flap a bit, and you may find a flap here. See this flap here. Now what we have to do is pull this flap up. So just take this flap. Pull it tight, but not that much hard, and pull it up. The model may try to squash a bit, just like this. So now, what we have to do in this case is either we have to push it from this side or pull this point up. So I will be just trying to push it for the first, but it's not happening. So I will just pull it. Now, uh, as you can see that the model will not lie flat if we do it like this. So what we have to do is fold the model on the basis of this crease lying here. So we just push it in. in the model this flap will go towards the middle line here now let me show it to you one more time on this flap here just open the flap a bit and as you can see that the flap here is inside the crease this line is actually you can say hidden so just we have to pull it out a bit by a pencil or a spoke kind of thing and when it's out just pull it see it came out pretty well 
Now flatten the model on the basis of this crease. So just pull, uh, just push this crease in. Make sure you get a nice tip here and fold it towards the middle line. Now do the same step on all the three sides. Here. Now I have done it uh, by doing all the sides. Now if we compare it to our ready model, what we have done is we have already made the outer flaps that is here, here and here. And um, what we have to do further is, and uh, actually we made these three here and these two here. If you want to make this one, these two, uh, if you may want to make this level as well, then I will tell you at the last how you can make it. I won't be making it in this tutorial, otherwise it will be getting too long. So, but you can make it this way only. So now what we have to do is take this tip on the center of this small square. Have a close look. See? Now do the same thing with all these points. Just like this. Here I have pulled all the flaps on this to the center of the paper. Now what we have to do is we have to fold each of this flap behind. So just like here in this flap, we have to fold this behind on the basis of the creases that we just made. We, are just, we just have to reverse the crease. Just like this. Now do the same thing on all of the flaps. Now here I have folded all of the flaps in. Now as you can see, it start to resemble like this, see, this part and this part, but there is this layer which actually is this layer. I will tell you how to make this at the last, but now let us make this last layer. So it's one of the easiest part, now what we have to do is take this point the single layer up to this point and what we have to do is open this layer and squash it in on the basis of the creases that lap. do the same thing on all other single flaps here now what we have to do is we have to fold this flap here that arises from this point in it is kind of tricky but we have to do it so now what we have to do we have to hold this crease from here and just fold it in i will just showing you this time and i will teach you it later see i am just showing it to you how to do it and now it's easy just do it now what you have to do is take to hold only this piece right here this point as it happening here and fold it in this cavity or you can space from here 
just like this now you can alter it so that it's just straight trees by just putting a pencil or a spoke kind of thing here and just alter it so that it's straight yeah and the same thing on all of the things here now we have made the second layer of this presentation as well now move on to the last layer it is the easiest easiest of all the parts so what we have to do is turn the model over and fold each of this flap up to this point right here um, where these this and this piece intersect so just take this flap and fold it in now these flaps might pop up a bit so just make that sure that you make a tight crease there a really tight crease there <laughs> now our basic model is ready now if you compare these two models only one layer is missing if you want to know how to make it uh, let me show it to you now as you remember uh, at the beginning we took all the four flaps and folded it in now we have to do the same thing i can't i can't do it because the model is ready for further you have to revert back on the step before folding these flaps in or folding up just fold these flaps in and squash it as i told you back just like uh, putting your finger in and question the model like this uh, yeah so when you will turn the model just open these two layers uh, and just fold that flap over I can't show it to you in this model because I already folded the layer and locked in there so just open it and you will just get the layer just pop it out and pull the hidden flap in then an another layer will be formed now it will be the same step that you did uh, by folding the flaps in and the model will be ready like this so here is our tessellation that we made today as i told you that i will be showcasing other of my models so here it goes let's just put it aside one of the model is it is one of the biggest model that I ever made. It's a variation of this translation. Uh, it can be made from these folds only but just by turning the model over. It has quite different steps and large number of pieces. So that's it. it actually I made it quite a while back and it took me about to say five to six hours make it including about one and a half hour to about two hours of pre-teasing um, about two hours of folding and about one hour of the finishing touches as you can see it's been popping up here a bit so it was a very very tricky model and another of my model is this it's a variation of this only a quite smaller one and the last model is this dancing cubes I just love this motion yeah, I just love if you follow my if you follow me on my Instagram ID you must have seen that I have uh, I had a story on this as well I think I had a post as well on this but I remember I had a story so yeah, that's pretty much it for today. See you later guys, bye.